Straight to our MC then, John McDonald. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and a very warm welcome back to the first round action here at the Alexandra Palace, the home of the Labrooks.com, the World Darts Championship. Brought to you by the PDC and live on Sky Sports. Let's meet our players then. Would you please welcome from Tala, Ireland, Maverick Shane O'Connor. And from Phoenix, USA, it's the Scorpion, David Fanta. Freeland match has been a little bit disappointing so far, but a couple of good characters up there. And the prize of a showdown with Wayne Mardle should inspire them. Shane O'Connor there, the Irish qualifier, good character. Lives uh, just near the City West Hotel in Dublin. Which we uh, bring you the darts from, of course, that Dublin to star competition, which has been so, so popular on the Emerald Isle. And uh, they both want to put on a show for you tonight. Your commentators, Dave Lanning and Stuart Pike. Well, David Fatton, a real live wire. I think we had a heart monitor on the American. It would be off the scale. Determined to enjoy himself tonight, Fatton. And, uh, talks a good game. Plays one too. Got to the uh, semi finals of the US Open. A fantastic run. Nearly got to the final. Came within a dart of beating Colin Lloyd. But a lot of support in the house for Shane O'Connor, the 23 year old Dubliner. They're enjoying this, I think, Dave. Well, Fatton walked into the arena as though he was heavyweight boxing champion of the world. And uh, exuding confidence. Exuding clearly enjoying the occasion and, and the atmosphere here is highly charged uh, O'Connor clearly has got uh, quite a following in the auditorium and uh, the placard Picassos are in evidence and as our colleague David Clark was saying the preliminary matches have tended to be a little disappointing but this one promises to be a bit wham bam thank you man First two five legs. Massive prize for either Fatum or O'Connor that uh, first round clash against Way Margle. And I've got the feeling we could be in for a pretty good and a very entertaining 20 or 25 minutes. It's the American to get us underway in the race to five legs. Yes, that's the discipline for the prelim rounds, the best of nine legs. And that's uh, throws with confidence. Here is O'Connor, much more pronounced, leaning forward star. What is it, 24 grand beautiful. Sounds a little bit like a Star Wars video, this. The Scorpion, they call Fatum against the Maverick. Could be a tag wrestling match, too. Yeah, good start from both players. This could be potentially a really, really good 20 minutes. When they both reached the preliminary round before the draw was made, Dave, I would have tipped both Fatum and O'Connor to make it through to the first round proper. So, boy, a shame they've been drawn against each other. O'Connor qualifying by winning the Irish match play, coming from a field of over 160 to make it to the Ali Pali. Fatum qualifying via the North American Order of Merit. 
is from Phoenix in Arizona. And there is a very strong darts colony down there in Arizona, where the bad men traditionally in Westerns come from. But this guy has the look of a good guy. He's the sort of bloke that would wear a white hat. Great first dart. His tops for the first leg. Well, he hit the 20. Not the 20 he wanted. The American will be back. Throw first to take this opening leg. What was important? Such a, a short sprint to the line to win the first leg on your throw. Double ten now. Yes. Ah, breezy start from the American. He's one up. And uh, O'Connor just can't wait to get back on the mark and get the second leg underway. Shane O'Connor comes from Palak in Dublin, which is in fact the village where Sydney and I play pool every year in Dublin. Yeah, O'Connor win, had to win eight matches to get through, eight matches in a day to qualify. In the final, he beat Garrett Gray 7-2. Garrett Gray, a name that we remember from uh, the World Grand Prix at the City West. O'Connor's got a lot of support in here tonight. It's a loose dart from Fatton. A real character. So is the American. Yes, in there. Galloping along at a brisk pace. Clearly, both these uh, international players know the way around the dartboard. What happened here? Well, look again. Oh, <laughs> almost took all three darts out. Yeah, as I mentioned, a, a fantastic run back in May at the Mohegan Sun to reach the semi finals of the US Open. Lost to Colin Lloyd through two. And uh, there was a bit of bother as well between Lloyd and Fatten after, well, during and after that game. Eventually shaking hands half an hour or so later, uh, but uh, where's his heart on his sleeve, does David Fatton? By profession, a paramedic firefighter. Does an important job in Phoenix. Double he needs and gets. <laughs> they are moving along splendidly. It really is a party spirit crowd here, and uh, they've got their party hats and they've got their placards, and uh, there's not a, a dry throat in the house, as they say. Happens here. Let's have a look at it in ultra slow mo. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a bit like a demolition derby in there, Stuart. Yeah, flight cam 1000, a wow, thousand frames well, per second. Giving us some, uh, some great oh, views yes. already in this tournament. Poetry in motion. 56. A gentleman called John Tennyson said that long before your time, Stuart. I'll take your word for it. But no, entertaining stuff. Fatum has had to take, uh, well, he's had to work overtime, he was telling me, and split shifts and all sorts so he could actually accrue the time to come over here and play in the World Championship. Yes, a lot of our overseas players uh, have, uh, well, it's a bit of an odyssey for them, really, and the interesting thing, of course, is that uh, Rodriguez, the Spaniard who won last night, go through the meet, I think it's to go, Kevin Painter, isn't it? It's had to cancel his flight because he was going to be interviewed by Eric Christo and uh, John Part, who went crashing, burning, and went disastrous at the end of the championship. Don't want to keep the wine of John Part. He booked to go home anyway. <laughs> Teacher by day, Superman by night. Does the lower third know about their school teacher? Quality darts from this pair. What a prize at the end of it to take on Wayne Mardle. So Fatum will be back here to try and make it 2 1. O'Connor waiting to pounce. The American 
to hold his throne. And this is in the treble. And he looks across at the double turn. That was absolutely right on the wire. 60. Yeah, that was unlucky. So a chance here for the Irishman. Tops for O'Connor. It's a good guide for the young man. And it's 2-1. The 23-year-old from Dublin breaks the fattened throw. The